No matter where you live in Washington, you probably pay taxes or fees into a type of government known as a special purpose district. What lawmakers here in the Capitol started talking about today is a major shift in the law for these types of governments. A King 5 investigation raises questions about... The House of Representatives Local Governments Committee started this work session by watching three of the stories in our Money Down the Drain series. I'd like to know where that's going. Like this one on Pierce County Drainage District number 23, whose three elected commissioners have thwarted state auditors for 16 years, even though regular audits are required by state law. The state auditor's office told lawmakers there's not much it can do about 38 special purpose governments currently listed as unauditable because those governments refuse to provide the necessary financial records for review. Our only power, other than public shaming, uh, is that we can refer to the attorney general for action. They have operated in the shadows. Committee chair Representative Jerry Paulette is sponsoring a bill that would cut off public money to any district that does not submit to an audit and would dissolve a district after three years of non-compliance. If a local government is unauditable, they shouldn't be receiving your tax money. There are 1,600 special purpose districts in Washington, governments like fire, sewer, water, and utility districts. King 5 investigators really have shed the light on a problem that was just shoved in the back corner. Paulette's bill targets financial accountability. But our stories revealed problems with elections in some of those districts. They are not under the same election statutes that you or I are elected under. Representative Zach Hudgens has sponsored a separate bill addressing that. Currently, some special purpose districts hold elections by their own rules, not through the county elections office. Drainage District Commissioner Alan Thomas, arrested and charged with stealing tax money after our stories, last appeared on the ballot in the 1980s. Doesn't it make sense to just put these elections on the same ballot, you know, that we have for all the other elections? That's the goal of, of uh, the bill we're doing is to bring more attention to these elections. I think that when you have more participation, you get better government. So far, we've identified 100 irrigation districts, 104 diking and drainage districts, and 49 conservation districts, more than 250 governments across Washington that run their own elections. Some have said they can't afford the cost of a county supervised election. We also have so many special purpose districts where their budget isn't even as much as the cost of the election. So far, at least three separate bills have been proposed with hearings to begin next week. In Olympia, Chris Ingalls, King 5 News. And State Senator Dean Tacco, a Democrat from Longview, is sponsoring a state Senate version of that same bill.